Ladies, gentlemen, graduands, welcome to the University of Manchester and to this graduation ceremony. Also, welcome back to one of our former students, Imran Hakim. Imran is one of the Northwest's leading entrepreneurs. He's CEO of Hakim Group, one of the largest optical groups in the UK. I present to you for the award of astounding alumnus, Imran Hakim. Vice President and Dean, ladies and gentlemen, and graduates. I'm delighted to be here and honored to receive this award. You'll be pleased to know that I will take my mother's advice and I'll keep this very brief. At breakfast this morning, she said, son, don't talk for too long because they'll figure out that you're not really all that smart. So as each of you look to write the next chapter of your own stories, I would like to share three lessons briefly, which I know will leave you better equipped to deal with the future. My first message is a recollection from my first experience of work, which was at McDonald's in Bolton. And I remember at 16, my manager took me aside on the first day and he said, son, if you work really hard at flipping burgers, one day you can have my job. After three days, he sacked me. And he said, you're a kid from Bolton. If you think you know about business, you're dreaming. And he was absolutely right. I was dreaming and I've continued dreaming ever since. And dreaming has taken me from flipping burgers to today owning our own modest but diverse business portfolio. So the first message I want to leave you with today is don't just dream, but dream often and dream big. The second message I want to leave you, leave you with today would be to believe in yourself. Uh, as uh, you heard that I started an IT company uh, shortly before coming to university. And I remember when I started that company, I used to have a little frame on the wall. And it used to read, if you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you want to win but think you can't, it's almost certain you won't. If you think you lose, you're lost. For out in the world we find success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. And every time I meet people, and I've had the privilege of working with a lot of fantastic people along the journey that we've had, it always reinforces that message for me. Believe in yourself. And the final message would be be grateful. Let me explain why. If you could, if you'll indulge me for just one second, if you could shrink the world's population into just 100 people, keeping all the existing ratios the same, this is what that village of 100 people would look like. You would have 57 Asians, 21 Europeans, 14 from the Western Hemisphere, both North and South. Eight would be African, 52 would be female, and 48 would be male. 70 would be non-white and 30 would be white. Six people would possess 59% of the entire world's wealth and all six would be from the United States. 80 would live in substandard housing. 70 would be unable to read. 50 would suffer from malnutrition. One would be near death, one would be near birth, one would have had a college education and one would own a computer. And therefore, if you extrapolate that, if you woke up this morning with more health than illness, if you have food in your refrigerator, clothes on your back and a roof over your head, somewhere to sleep tonight, you are richer than 75% of this world. If you then have money in the bank, some loose change in a dish somewhere, you've had a college education and you possess a computer, that puts you in the world's top 2% wealthy. And when you look at your opportunity from that point of view, we have so much to be grateful for. To all you graduands, all the best for the future. Keep dreaming those big dreams. Believe in yourself and always, always be grateful. Enjoy the rest of this special day. <laughs>